Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our channels. In this video, we're going to create a purchase order. Now, to create a purchase order, we can go over here to Purchases, go to New Purchase Order, go down to the date that's defaulting to today. We can put in a promissory date that the vendor says that they'll get it to us by. Type in a couple letters of the vendor. And then we can start to add items. Pick the item. Pick the quantity. Or we can click Add Items. And this is an order guide. By default, it shows items we purchased from that vendor in the past. So we can come over here and put in some quantities and simply add them. We could save it. Now you could make changes to this purchase order as often as you want until you remove the hold. When you remove the hold, that's an indication that we've sent it over to the vendor and we don't want to make changes to it. For this particular purchase order, I have approvals turned on. So it's telling me that, for example, Layla needs to approve it. But I'm an admin. I can approve it myself. And then we can email it out to the vendor. So now this is great. But what if we don't know what we need to order? So we have sales orders and demand, and let's say we don't even do reorder points and you know minimum levels of stock that we need to replenish. Let's say we just create a sales order like this one, and we need to know what to order, what to put on purchase orders to get into stock so that we can ship out to our customers. So to handle that, we go over to inventory, and we go down to prepare replenishment. We pick our warehouse. This can all be scheduled as a process screen can. We uncheck the product manager, me. And Acumatica will show what do we need to process here, meaning less what I have in stock, less what I already have on purchase orders, and what do I have in demand. So you can see all these columns here to the right. So in this case, I have 10 on demand, but three on supply. So the system is telling me I need to process seven of them. And you can change these numbers. If you want to make changes to this, you can put any numbers in here you want. But at the end of the day, you click process all. That'll plan these for inventory so that when you go over to your purchasing and you go down to create purchase orders, that's a mass processing screen also that allows you to create all your purchase orders. It will include your prepared replenishment. It'll also include, if you check out some of our other videos, drop ships and purchased orders, meaning any kind of sales orders that have been marked for PO, where we're linking the line item of the sales order to potential purchase orders, they'll show up here. And once the purchase orders are created, we'll forge those links between the sales order and the purchase order. But you can see the plan type here is simply inventory replenished from those sales orders that are on demand. So no mark for sales order, inventory replenish. And before we process all of these, we need to make sure that our item has a default vendor. It doesn't. Therefore, these are blank. But I can change it here by selecting my vendor. So we can put in that vendor right here and fill it for this. So you can override it as you need to. But again, if you go into these items and choose the default vendor, that'll get filled in for you. Now if I click Process All, this will create all of my purchase orders. Because it was the same vendor, Acumatica is smart enough to accumulate it all to one purchase order. And now I can take it off hold and email it out to the vendor. So that's how you create a purchase order in Acumatica. If you have any questions about this or anything else, Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks for watching and clicking the like button. Have a great day.